week 13 of the fantasy football season, and he has a few wide receivers. I have his sleeper options this week. The first guy, Sammy Watkins of the Baltimore Ravens. So Watkins, he's available in 91% of fantasy weeks. We know he's been banged up most of the season, but that's nothing new here. But this week, I have him as a sleeper option with a good matchup with the Pittsburgh Steelers that give up the 10th most fantasy points to receivers on the season. The last three games, we haven't seen anything from Watkins. Week 10 at Miami, one catch, seven yards of fumble loss. Week 11 versus the Bears, three catches, 48 yards. And week 12 versus the Browns in that sloppy ball game, one catch for eight yards. But for some reason, I think in this game at the Steelers, I could see him score a deep ball touchdown in this one. They got to get their offense going as Baltimore. They haven't looked good, really, even though they won the last two games, scoring 16 and 16 in those matchups. So right here, Sammy Watkins, he's a definite dark throw and sleeper option this week. But I just got a feeling he might find the end zone on a long one. And right now, he's available, like I mentioned, in 91%. Of fantasy leagues. The next wide receiver is another Watkins, but Kez Watkins of the Philadelphia Eagles. So him and Hurts, they got a decent rapport. We've seen some flashes this season here from Kez Watkins where he had a couple deep balls and stuff. And I think versus Jet secondary, they're definitely burnable for a long ball in this one. And the Eagles, after that bad loss last week, got to get things going once again and play good. So I think Kez Watkins, who is a Hurts favorite, I think, could have a good game in this one. And it wouldn't surprise me if he had 70 or 80 yards with a touchdown. It just takes one deep ball for him to have a day. So here for Watkins, week 10 at Denver, four catches, 33 yards. Week 11 versus New Orleans, only one target. And then last week at the Giants, two catches, 23 yards. But he did have five targets. So the Jets give up the 15th most fantasy points to receivers. Watkins is a burner. And I think versus this week secondary, he could find the end zone in this one. And he's available right now in 99% of fantasy leagues. So he's a real sleeper option for sure this week. And the third and final wide receiver I have as a sleeper this week is T.Y. Hilton of the Indianapolis Colts. So T.Y. Hilton, he hasn't been the same over the last few seasons. Injuries have slowed him down for sure, no doubt about it, for T.Y. So the last few games for him, week 10 versus Jacksonville, a catch for five yards. Week 11 at Buffalo, two catches, 26 yards. And week 12 versus Tampa Bay, four catches, 28 yards, and a touchdown. So week 13 here, great matchup for Houston. A team that he's owned in his career. No matter what year it is, no matter where the ball games play, T.Y. Hilton's always had the Houston Texans number. And this season, the best game of the season he had was versus Houston. Four catches for 80 yards. So right now, T.Y. Hilton's available in 71% of fantasy leagues. And versus a team that he owns, like I mentioned, I think he has another good game and possibly finds the end zone in this one. So that's a few wide receivers. I have his sleepers for week 13 of the fantasy football season.